RAF and Royal Navy pilots will benefit from a cutting-edge new missile, signifying a major leap forward in the program's development. Spear was successfully fired from a BAE Systems-operated Typhoon jet at the Vitzel range in Sweden. The turbojet-powered miniature cruise missile can hit targets from 100 kilometers away. A critical milestone in the development of the missile was the guided firing trial, where it navigated itself to its target using an all-weather radar seeker and radio frequency. Imagery. The missile is designed to be used against a range of targets, including air defenses, ships, tanks, defended structures and fast-moving vehicles, and can operate in challenging and complex environments. Once in service, it will be fitted to RAF and Royal Navy F-35B Lightning Stealth Jets, allowing its pilots to strike targets both from land and the Navy's Queen Elizabeth-class aircraft carriers. The Lightnings will be able to carry up to eight Spear missiles at a time, providing the next Generation of long-range air-to-surface missiles. Armed Forces Minister Luke Pollard said it was a major achievement. The successful trial of the pioneering Spear missile marks a significant leap forward in UK Armed Forces capabilities, ensuring our Royal Navy and Royal Air Force personnel are equipped with cutting-edge technology to protect our nation, he said. This achievement not only strengthens national defense capabilities, but also boosts the UK economy by supporting high-skilled jobs and innovation. The trial itself, which did not carry a live warhead, demonstrated the long-range free-flight control of the missile following a high-altitude and high-speed release. Created in the UK by the missile designer and producer company MBDA, the new initiative supports several hundred jobs among its workforce. Spear is part of a wider £6.5 billion planned investment in the UK weapons industry by the Ministry of Defence over the next decade, putting the UK at the forefront of future weapons development. As Part of the development of the Spear 3 standoff cruise missile that will equip the F-35, the weapon was test-fired in Sweden for the first time in mid-October. The trial used a telemetry unit instead of a live warhead and demonstrated the release, gather and long-range free-flight control of the missile following a high-altitude and high-speed release from a BAE Systems-operated Typhoon test and evaluation aircraft. This was the first time the weapon system had been fired against a target, marking a significant step forward in the program. Although this is a positive step, development is significantly behind schedule. Full operating capability has slipped from 2025 to 2028, leaving the F-35s lacking a standoff weapon for another four years. Recent conflicts have demonstrated the need for precision strike weapons that can operate night and day in all weather conditions against severe countermeasures and, importantly, attack moving and maneuvering targets.